Okay. I believe we have another email question. Um, this is from Earl. Anything to do with, the go with government benefits has a mountain of paperwork to fill out. How much is it for the situation and what is it for the deadline for applying? So <laughs> Earl has obviously dealt with the, the federal government in the past yes. because it's voluminous in nature with yeah. the, the paperwork that you have to fill out. How hard is this to, to, to file a claim, Mike? Uh, it, it's, if you've worked with the government before, you know that documentation is just, like you said, piles of it. And this is the importance of having an attorney assist you through this process. You know, not only a, a, an attorney is going to help you get the amount that you deserve, they're going to help you navigate through that minefield of paperwork that, is, that needs to be submitted as well. Now, one of the follow-up questions is how much does it cost for a situation like this? And obviously, just like mm -hmm. any other personal injury matter, we take these cases on a contingency fee basis. Mm -hmm. And if there's nothing that we can do for you or get you compensated for your benefits, mm -hmm. well, then obviously uh, we, don't, we don't charge anything because it's a contingency fee contract. Mm -hmm. um, Mike, you know, in, infertility is a, is a you know, very uh, private situation for a lot of individuals having to deal with that. It is very private. Uh, but I noticed that that is something that's a illness that was linked to the Camp Lejeune, the laundry list of things that, that can occur too. Yeah. Um, how, how do you prove that? I mean, how do, how do you prove, or maybe you lost a baby and now you're infertile. Can you, can you, how far down the line can you go with that? Well, this, what we're seeing and, and that mm. I personally encounter with family is, is that the individual that was stationed there may have had children back in the early 80s, in the mid 80s, while they were stationed there. Now, and it wasn't until their children were in their late 20s or 30s before they even found that they had any issues whatsoever with fertility or any other type of, right. and then they're finding cysts or um, stillborn babies and you know, that's uh, children that die soon after birth or uh, miscarriages. Right. To, to, to do that, and I guess uh, they need to, you know, we have, need to have access to the documents for the, the medical records back, yeah. you know, either whether it's dealing with cysts or infertility mm -hmm. or, or mm -hmm. stillbirths or mm -hmm. children that are, that are born with defects or defects or something like that. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is, this is just awful. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is absolutely awful and it's, um, it's very telling. Uh, years ago, we had an individual that came in, Les and I did. And we met with her, and this has been probably at least 10 years ago, Mike. Mm -hmm. And the story, I'm not, I don't need to get into the facts of it, but the story is basically, she's lost her whole family, both of her sons and her husband, mm -hmm. and just had a volume of documents, in, you know, with you know, what's going on mm -hmm. with Camp Lejeune. And there were new newspaper clippings, just, uh, you know, just article after article after article, and, for you know we were able to file her claim now yeah. you know that's that's another another uh, story because it was over 10 you know it was 10 years right. ago but now we're yeah. uh, revisiting that but yeah. just uh, someone that's fighting for their family that lost mm -hmm. their entire family because of this and up into i don't know august maybe a little bit before then when there was mm -hmm. little rumblings that this may get passed the federal government was basically giving her the deaf ear of and course. telling her to go pound sand mm -hmm. And what you're alleging that we have done that's killed your entire family is not accurate, and not true. So leave us alone. Mm -hmm. And so we encourage you if, if you, you know, you need to speak to an attorney. You need to address these type of issues, mm -hmm. or these, you know, if you need to address your case regarding these issues, please give us a call. Um, you know, you, you can call us during the during the week to discuss this. But all matters are completely confidential. We don't name names. Obviously, we don't name names on air at all either. Right. You know. Yep. But Mike, this is just mm -hmm. this is just awful. And especially, I just feel so so sorry for if it was this individual that Les and I represented years ago. Mm -hmm. How many more have the federal go has the federal government turned a deaf ear to and basically told to go pound sand? And she was fighting, mm -hmm. you know, because she knew that she was correct. The don't think that the government just opened the door and said, you know what, we did wrong. Right. They've been individuals fighting this since about 1989. Okay. Now, that's, um, there's a really good documentary out. It's called Semphify uh, Always Faithful. And it tells a, a man's plight. Now, this documentary came out in 2011. And it tells a man's plight of trying to figure out what killed his daughter, gave her leukemia, and died at a young age. And that's what it, li it linked back to, to the Camp Lejeune. Wow. 